the easiest person you could disrespect is a black man. So that's why these niggas willfully do it. We watch Shannon Sharp have noodle knees on air when a five foot five white man was disrespecting him. He said nothing. His voice got loud. He almost sounded like a coward. When he got into a gym in front of black folks, what did he do? What is the one thing I tell you black folks can't embarrass their people in front of? And that's white folks. Don't nobody care how low they act around niggas. Don't nobody care about being violent around black folks. They only clean their act up when they get around white folks and J people. They only bunny hop and do all kind of weirdo shit when they get around people that they think uh, uh, deserve that type of respect. They don't bunny hop around black folks. They pull out choppers. Yeah, they don't bunny hop around black folks. They pull out choppers. So Matt Barnes and coward men like that is the problem with our community. I know it's all about who we like, and I know some people ain't going to do nothing but say, oh, yeah, man, these people just be beefing. Kwame is going to beef back and forth. No, that ain't got nothing to do with no beef. That is despicable behavior. I've been saying this whole time, I watch behavior. And the men that they put in front of you have similar behavior. They are killers of our community. Almost every man they put in front of you got a crew of killers because they are cowards. Matt Barnes had another man there protecting him, and you could see him right there full in the flesh. I guarantee you that dude ain't got no job. I guarantee you that's one of his homeboys from the hood, and I guarantee you he'll do something stupid for him. That's the black community. That's the Wakanda. Now we starting to peel back that onion of what's really wrong with our community. Every one of these fake-ass activists, not all, not all, but most, these fake activists, these fake, I'm down for the hood because I perpetuate the stupidity and the dumb stuff and the danger of the hood, then that means I'm down for the hood. Well, I ain't down for the hood. I'm down with these kids, and these kids don't need nothing to, to do with no damn hood. I raised up in an environment in the hood, so I know it ain't nothing good coming from the hood. And the funny thing is, the fake imitating dudes that's pretending like they from the hood, they always act hood. But the dudes who actually are from the hood, how come they keep trying to ring the alarm to say, hey, look, it ain't nothing good going to come out of this. Ain't nothing good going to come out of this uh, sagging your pants and acting tough. There's always somebody tougher. Ain't nothing good finna come out of you shooting at somebody. Somebody gonna shoot back. Ain't nothing good finna come out of you spraying up somebody's mama house. Cause they gonna spray up four or five of your mama, auntie, and everybody else's house. Ain't nothing good finna come up out of this young man. But no, you can't have people around that's gonna say that real right stuff. You gotta have the idiots and the jackasses that tell you to go check in. To go perpetuate a cycle of ignorance. Those are the people that's going to be on your television stations. Unless you're wearing a dress. Oops, did I say that? Yes, I did. I said it without cursing, though. You said you didn't like cursing. I ain't cursed yet, I don't think. I am a cusser. I might have slipped one in there. I don't know. But I do know our culture is going to hell in the handbasket. I could be the problem. That's your opinion. Just don't shoot. See, that's the problem. When two black men disagree, it got to be a shooting behind it. You can disagree with me. Just don't shoot. Show me you a man and disagree with me without getting upset to the point where you want to throw your life away. I don't think none of these niggas know man. If they're going to let somebody else throw their life away, over some hurt feelings over what somebody said. Motherfuckers talked about me for 20 years and ain't nobody die. Ain't nobody die. So why these mush smelly dudes can't have somebody talking about them? I had the whole world talking about me. I don't give a fuck. You niggas get talked about by your op and then you throw one of your cousin's life away. You get talked about by your op and then you say, I got a homeboy that'll kill somebody for me.
bunch of immature little ass boys in our community. And we sitting here talking about Wakanda when we won't want to deal with the underlying issue that these males are emotional because they only been around females. So they don't really know nothing about what a man do. And most times in a manly situation, before you take it there, you walk away because you have a greater risk of losing your family. But we done pull black men away from their family. So they feel like they ain't got nothing to lose. They riding out for the gang gang. Look at Jack. He want to do everything for a bunch of niggas. Man, I'm always going to be down for my dogs. I ain't going to be down for no pack of niggas. I'm like a dogo Argentina. I don't want to be around a bunch of males. Yeah, yeah, you can't put no dogo Argentina in the yard with a bunch of uh, uh, males with the same thing they got. They know that we're going to compete. We're going to peacock at some point. Brown boys, we the brown boys. The brown boys, we the brown boys.